Let's have a look at what we mean when we talk about something being a solution to an equation. If we think about an equation like this one, and we're asked to solve it, what we're asked to do is find a value of x so that this thing, when we put that value of x in, ends up being exactly the same as this thing on the right. So we're looking for a number that makes it true that this left-hand side is equal to this on the right-hand side. Let me show you what I mean by looking at some particular numbers. So we can ask ourselves, does x equal to 1 make this equation true? Well, let's have a look at the left-hand side, which will abbreviate like that. That's going to be 1 squared minus 1, which is 0. And then the right-hand side will be 3 plus 1, when x is equal to 1, which is 4. So when we've worked this one out here, what we get over here is 0, what we get over here is 4, and those two things are definitely not equal to each other. So putting in x equals to 1 has not made this equation true, because for it to be true, it would have to be that the answers were equal to each other. So we can say very clearly, no. Let's look at another example. Does x equal to 3 make this equation true? Well, again, let's have a look what happens when we put x equal to 3 in the left-hand side. We'll get 3 squared minus 3, which is 9 minus 3, which is 6. And if we look at the right-hand side and put 3 in there, we're going to have 3 plus 3, which is 6. And now in this case, what we have is we've got 6 on the left-hand side, 6 on the right-hand side. And is it true that those two things are equal? Absolutely. And so x equal to 3 makes this equation true. And another way we can write this is to say that x equal to 3 is a solution of this equation. And similarly, we could also just say for this bit that x is 1 is not a solution of this equation. Try this one for yourself. Pause the video and try it now. So, hopefully what you did, substituted in negative 1, where there's an x, you'd get negative 1 squared, which is negative 1 times negative 1, which is 1. You subtract negative 1, which is the same as adding 1, so you get 2 on the left-hand side. Right-hand side needs no work because it's just 2. And so what you have is that you've got 2 here, and of course that is equal to 2, so it does make the equation true, so x equal to minus 1 is a solution.